Two photographs taken recently by the Rover Curiosity will be analyzed in this presentation. We're looking at a curious object photographed on Sol 4505 and 4503. The one taken on 4503 is a color photograph which is awesome but it is really compressed so there's a lot of compression artifacts in that photograph so when I upscale it it does break up a bit but the black and white or grayscale photograph taken on Sol 4505 is a lot clearer and better defined. Let's have a look at the source material and also close-ups of this semi-spherical bowl-like object with a neat hole in its center. The mast cam took this photograph on the 8th of April 2025. Now we're looking at the original photograph downloaded from the NASA site and as always I'll include the link to the original source material in the video description below. So let's remove the grid and correct the brightness and contrast. We'll be zooming in on the item right there. And I put it to be about 12 to 15 centimeters in diameter and I'll show you why when we get to the color photograph. Now I've zoomed in four times original size. Check out the neat symmetry and geometry to this object folks. It's very smooth, brightish material. It's not like any of the other pebbles and stones nearby. It's got this neat hole in its center. So it's like a bowl, a semisphere, half a sphere, what could it be, folks? It's rather odd. As you know, I've found four spheres about 12 to 14 centimeters in diameter recently as well. Also photographed in this region of Mars by the Rover Curiosity. And then finally, the color photograph taken on the 7th of April 2025, also by the Mast camera. Here's the original photograph downloaded from the NASA site and we'll be looking at the object located to the bottom right. And here I've removed the red filter. We'll be zooming in on that object over there to the bottom right. And also we can see part of the rover which gives us a clue how big this object might be. So the mast cam, which is up about two meters above the surface, is looking down and took that photograph. So if you consider the size and the height of this part of here, that there could be 12 to 15 centimeters in diameter. And as I say, this JPEG photograph is very very compressed. I don't know if they did it on purpose or if it was just the camera and the parameters for that day. You can see it breaks up rather badly but we can still make out the detail on that object and it seems to be a different type of material to the pebbles and little stones and rocks close by. So I don't know, it looks sort of an ivory type of color. Could it be a shell? Or some type of fossilized water creature? And that concludes this short presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and clicking the notification all. That way you'll know when I upload my next video. As always, thanks for watching.